This example demonstrates a 64 qualm system using probabilistic amplitude shaping. We will use a bit error rate test set to generate a random bit sequence, as well as measure the bit error rate post transmission. A qualm pass sequence generator component is used for encoding the bit sequence into the emery sequence used for the qualm transmitter. This is the main feature of the probabilistic amplitude shape system as it forces the emery sequence to contain a desired distribution of symbols. Here, we will define the properties of the sequence generator. We will define bits per output symbol to be six, as this correlates with the 64 qualm format. PSN defines the number of symbols in each codeword, which we will define as 256. This means that the output emery symbol sequence will be a multiple of 256. We will use subsystem layout B, as we will use forward error encoding to reduce the amount of bit errors received after transmission. We will also use the secondary parameters list to define the parameters PSK and gamma directly. PSK defines the information sequence length at the input of the qualm pass sequence generator, which we will define as 1100. This means that the input bit sequence will be separated into sequences of 1100 bits. It is highly recommended to make the input bit sequence length a multiple of PSK, which we will do subsequently. After inputting this value, the primary parameter entropy will reflect the estimated entropy of the qualm pass sequence generator. This entropy will differ from the measured entropy during transmission, and is more accurate with larger values of PSN. Gamma defines the fraction of bits bypassing forward error correction within the qualm pass sequence generator which we will define as 0.5. The parity bits generated by the forward error correction component will be encoded in the sign of each emery symbol within the generated code word. If we define gamma as 0, the number of parity bits used is equal to PSN, which is 256 in this case. If gamma is defined as 1, then no parity bits will be output. Since we have defined gamma as 0.5, then half of the symbols will carry information regarding forward error correction, which corresponds to 128 bits in this setup. Consequently, 128 bits from the input 1100 bits will not be involved in the forward error correction process. Next, we can define the sequence length used. Since we require sequences of 1100 for the qualm pass sequence generator, we need to have a sequence length that is a multiple of 1,100. We will use 13,200 bits for our generated bit sequence, which corresponds to 12 different code words generated by the qualm pass sequence generator. It is important to enable the parameter PAS sizing, as the value 13,200 is not a power of 2. Following the qualm pass sequence generator, we will place two fork components to branch the respective emery sequences. The first branches are output to an emery sequence pattern, which is used to output a single emery sequence used by the universal pass decision component. This sequence is used to determine the symbol error rate of the transmitted signal. The default parameters of 1 and 1 can be kept for this. The second branches of the fork components are output to a qualm transmitter which converts the input emery sequences to an optical signal. We will connect the QAM transmitter to the QAM receiver by an optical fiber of length 60 kilometers. The data rate used here is 100 gigabits per second. Following the QAM receiver, we have a universal QAM DSP. We will enable the following algorithms. DC blocking to center the constellation. Normalization to normalize to the standard qualm levels. Low pass filter to reduce aliasing effects. Dispersion compensation for the effects of the optical fiber. Timing recovery to determine the correct time to sample the symbols within each period. Adaptive equalizer to compensate for the residual dispersion and inter symbol interference. Frequency offset estimation and carrier phase estimation to correct for the aforementioned processes, and flex resampler to resample the received signal such that there is a non-fractional number of samples per symbol during the DSP processing. Of note, the PAS tab of the Universal QAM DSP 
can be used to account for the type of probabilistic amplitude shaping used. Here, we will enable PAS, set the pass transmitter setup to transmitter, and duplicate the settings from the QAM pass sequence generator within the transmitter setup subsection. Following the DSP, we have the universal pass decision. We will select the 64 QAM format and enable the following parameters. DSP, as the electrical signal aligns with the emery signal levels. Optimize decision to compensate for the timing delay and the flex resampler for the same reasons as the DSP. After the decision component, the QAM pass sequence decoder is used to convert the received emery sequence into a bit sequence. The parameters used to set up this component are identical to the QAM pass sequence generator. After calculating the simulation, we can take a look at the electrical constellation. As seen here, the constellation takes on the characteristics of the 64 QAM constellation, with 64 levels, representing different combinations of positive and negative 1, 3, 5, and 7. Due to probabilistic shaping, the lower power symbols at the center of the constellation occur more frequently than those of high power. This is exemplified best through a comparison of the symbol at 1-1 to the symbol at 7-7.